What is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here back with another specialist guide and today we are going to be taking a look at Ajax. Now to me, I feel that Ajax is a severely underrated character. Plus he has a pretty cool little backstory behind him. So let's take a look at this street hard South African gang leader. Kirk Rossau, aka Ajax, had received his stripes because of his combat expertise by fighting in the streets and alleys of broken down shanty towns. Increasing desertification had displaced millions of individuals as the South African continent's farmland had collapsed, causing a brutally police slum where only the strongest gangs now survived by picking through the aid handouts and fighting with each other, other gangs, and riot police. Later, a warlord named Van Grant took over Kirk's gang, causing him to go into hiding where he established a militia that was now dedicated to looking after the needs of citizens rather than the needs of their own. So Ajax has a pretty cool little story where he became this sort of destructive gang leader to now someone who protects the public and his own soldiers. Moving on to Ajax Arsenal, his specialist equipment is the Nine Bang. Now, the Nine Bang kind of acts like a flash grenade where it disorients your HUD display, except the longer you charge it, the more bangs are going to come out of it. And there's a total of three charges. One charge you throw is going to give you three bangs. A second charge will throw six bangs. And a third charge will throw out nine bangs. It takes one minute to fully charge up the Nine Bang. Now, if you use the Tactical Mass perk, then it's going to reduce some of the effectiveness of the nine bang but still it's not gonna act like a complete counter the only counter that I was able to find out was the trophy system however if you want to use the trophies then you do have to give up your specialist equipment so that's kind of something you may want to think about like should you have one guy on your team dedicate his role to tossing out trophies on the objectives flags etc and uh, he can completely negate the nine bangs effect also the nine bang acts like an EMP grenade where it will disable score streaks for a short period of time a lot of people don't know that about the nine bang but it does so if you see a sentry gun or a mantis or an rcxd somewhere you can stun it and then take it out or make an escape whatever you want to do for each flash on another player you're going to earn 15 score if you happen to get a kill while someone was flash then you will earn 125 score for the kill and then if your teammate kills a player that was flash then you will also get credit for that kill so that's pretty awesome there i really love how in black ops 4 if you contribute enough to making a good play then you're going to earn credit for that kill or whatever it is and that's something that call of duty has been lacking for quite some time now so i love this about the nine bang i love this about black ops 4 in general and now for Ajax's specialist weapon, he carries a ballistic shield and this shield might just be one of the best specialist weapons in the game because it can do so much for you and your team both offensively and defensively. The shield takes over 10 minutes to fully charge up and as always this is without any kills or score points and while the shield is out it's going to last you for 30 seconds of use and this shield cannot be broken by anything in the game. This means bullets, explosives missiles nothing in the game can break this shield also the shield allows you to use a fully automatic weapon it comes with 100 bullets you don't need to reload it or anything and after those 100 bullets are out then you cannot use the gun anymore to me it kind of reminds me of the cap 40 from black ops 2 but i don't want to say that's what the gun is for sure if you guys know then please tell me down below in the comments the shield also comes in another mode called fortify and the way you activate its fortify mode is by pressing l2 and and while you are in fortify you cannot run slide or go prone at all however this is what makes you quite literally resistant to pretty much everything in the game that's right in front of you so while in fortify you cannot be killed by explosives most of the score streaks and some of the specialist weapons however if any projectiles get behind you then obviously you're gonna die so as long as you have the shield right in front of you then you will not die by mostly anything or everything 
everything in the game. In the clips on screen, you'll see my friend here is not even being touched by anything, including Nomad's dog. But again, this is just as long as you have that shield out in front of you. Also, every time you block bullets, then you will get 10 plus score. I believe for every second a bullet makes contact with your shield. And also, whenever you have finally activated your shield, you want to gather your team and have them rush to the objective behind your shield. Most of the time, if you and your squad do this, then you more than likely are going to take over the B domination flag or the hard point, whatever it may be. This shield is going to be very, very good for competitive. I can already tell, mainly because there really isn't a counter to it besides quite literally avoiding Ajax. It's better to just avoid the character completely and try to flank around behind them because most of the time you are not going to win a gunfight against him while his shield is out. So again, the best thing to do is create as much space away from Ajax, come behind him and take him out that way. Or if you're using a score streak, maybe try to focus him or even at least just call him out to your teammates so they can avoid him and then figure out a strategy to come out behind him and kill him. I haven't played anything competitive in Black Ops 4 just yet, but I'm willing to bet that Ajax is going to be one of the characters that's most used, mainly because he can turn the game around completely in your team's favor if he's played correctly. The counters to Ajax are pretty much non-existent, and I still just wonder why I don't see too many people using him in multiplayer. I think Ajax is a very underrated specialist. He will confuse you and your teammates when it comes to figuring out how to kill him with the ballistic shootout. Of course, the nine bang also messes up your player's HUD display and the player cannot swap weapons, ADS reload. So very, very powerful and useful piece of equipment, especially because its recharge time is so, so small. Also, Ajax just really helps you out with building up to your score streaks. All around, he's amazing when it comes to being an offensive and defensive specialist. But let me know what you guys think about him down below in the comments. Also, don't forget to leave a like if you guys did enjoy it does take me a really long time to make these specialist videos so a like would be greatly greatly appreciated and thank you so much for watching guys i love y'all so so much i got some more amazing black ops 4 videos coming on the way be sure to subscribe and make sure you click notifications to be kept up to date when i post videos and yeah thanks for watching guys till next time i'll see you later